Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about how you can translate a Matomo plugin. So typically for this I will take uh, one given example and let's say one specific use case. Let's imagine that you are working as a freelancer or as an agency for a client and uh, your client wish to have a great uh, feature included within Matomo which does not exist yet, which typically is a bit the case of uh, the group permission plugin, one developer uh, somewhere out there on the planet decided to create this plugin and is releasing it. What's gonna happen is that this developer will probably write this plugin in English and maybe will support an additional language which is uh, the mother tongue of this uh, developer but then will not care about the rest. So what's gonna happen next if you as let's say the provider, the service provider, you would like this plugin to be uh, directly translated into the language that, uh, that you wish to have for your client, then uh, what you need to do is that you need to inform the developer of this given plugin that she or he can uh, in fact use the WebBlade service, which is the translation services used by the Matomo community in order to translate all the plugin and the developer will have to follow uh, the following documentation which mainly consists in adding uh, what we call a web hook uh, where can we find this web hook mm. voila anyways we'll go through uh, the following translation maybe yeah okay so that's that's the one over here yes they will have to uh, add a given um, a given feature in order to be able uh, to easily integrate all the translation which will be made through WebBlade. You on your side, you're going to register to this uh, website, which is the uh, WebBlade uh, website, which is the one used by uh, the Matmo team. Once the webhook is inserted, then it's going to appear WebBlade. Uh, yeah, over here, WebBlade. It's gonna appear on WebBlade, so of course you need to create an account over there. When it's down, uh, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna get over here, it's gonna be named plugin, commu community plugin something. So in my case, community plugin, and that's gonna be the group permission. You're gonna click on it. You're gonna choose the uh, language that you feel more familiar with, and then you're gonna translate it. So in my case, I just, uh, I just did it uh, yesterday. When you do so, when you translate all the different uh, sentences, all the different name, it's gonna send all this workout directly to GitHub, okay? And this is what we're gonna have over here. It's a pull request. So pull request means that uh, some changes have been made to the project and now the developer of the plugin need to give his go ahead in order for this uh, pull request to be integrated within his plugin and then the developer is going to release a new update of the plugin and once the new update is released then you can see the translation of course a developer does not have any interest of let's say uh, merging all the pull requests every time it happens so he's going to wait some time in order to have let's say enough in his bag in order to validate all the pull requests and it's not gonna create an update let's say every time that a uh, pull request happen so to say it's gonna take time or however this time you probably don't have it because what you would like to see is probably to see uh, already the table translated and see already your work in action in order to double check if everything is, is working as expected so uh, in order to uh, to do so, if you cannot wait for the update of, of the plugin, uh, for example, if you take the case of uh, the Matomo software, it takes about six weeks in order for the um, software to be updated and a new release to be made. So probably you don't have the six weeks. So what you can do is that uh, you can directly uh, get your translation out of it. So you can uh, just go uh, over here, for example, in um, translation update, and here you get your, your ticket. So in my case, that's the French port. Then you need to dig a little bit in order to get 
the full files. In my case, that's the file that we want. It's lang uh, slash r4 uh, json. Then uh, you can easily, of course, uh, copy the content of the full file. Copy it. I'm um, just going to double check if it's going to take the full stuff. No, it's not going to take the full stuff. Um, I'm just going to view the file tabs. And uh, I go file and I should be right. Okay, so. Uh, here is all the translation that I made. So of course, I'm not getting this uh, file out of WebLate directly. So I use the UI of WebLate and then GitHub is then creating the JSON file for me. Um, and then all I need to do is that I need to access to my server. So in my case, what I did here is that I used my map to move uh, locally. So here, as you can see, it's a local host. And now I can double check, in fact, my my translation. So all I need to do, as you can see here, I have um, I'm within the folder which includes all the language of Matomo, and all I need to do is just to create my own file, which will be fr.json file. Then once I get uh, my file created, as I just did over here, okay. Um, I can, in fact, uh, now just switch the language in order to see how it looks like. And then I will be able to tell to my client, hey, look, those are the translations that I made for you. This is how it will look like once uh, the plugin will be updated by the developer. And also you can uh, double check the translation. So here, as you can see, I mean, for the people who can read French, uh, it's not like a great translation that I that I made. Here it's like translated of uh, permissions of the group. So of course it's understandable, but I would say it's not like 100% perfect in, in French. But for the rest, um, it seems like it seems like understandable and now fully translated into uh, into French. I'm just gonna check over here. Yeah, client okay, group. Okay, so everything looks uh, everything looks good uh, so far, or at least for a first version, that, that's okay. And now you can, in fact, show it to your client and say, hey, look, those are the translations that I made. If it looks okay for you, then I can uh, validate them. I mean, I can confirm to the developer that everything is okay. If not, you can go back on WebLate and then adjust it. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Thanks for watching.